Love you, Dublin. Hey, how's it going? It's Patrick Friday, and today I find myself in Edinburgh. That's where I start my Euro trip. So heading to Dublin today, just for a week. Visit my family and we're gonna go to northwest of Ireland and to be exact Sligo never been to that area so hoping for some nice hikes and views there yeah so that's the first stop and next month in May we're going to Krakow Poland and yeah and Tatra mountains so gonna be doing some hikes over there yeah so I'll see you in Dublin soon. And photo ID ready for inspection. And there's also a few other countries I'd like to visit this year, just in Europe. I uh, have an idea, a rough idea where I want to go, but I uh, haven't really decided yet. So we'll see how it goes. Here we are in Dublin. There's my brother there, he just picked me up. So the flight was 38 minutes. That's the shortest flight I ever was on, I ever been on. Yeah, so well, what I was gonna say. Okay, I remember now what I wanted to say that it's not gonna be like continuous traveling because I still work in Edinburgh doing tattoos so it's gonna be basically like city breaks once in a month for like three to four days so yeah just looking for the car the car parked now because he forgot where he parked <laughs> happens Here we are in Dublin, capital city of Ireland, and we find ourselves on Grafton Street, and that's the vibe we get. That's what we love Ireland for. That's the vibe you get on Grafton Street. That's where you can find the most expensive shops and many busters. We love you, Dublin. This is Dublin. <laughs> yeah, I love the vibe, man. Yeah, so going down Grafton Street, going <coughs> towards the spire. So I'm gonna show you some cool, like anything I come across that I think it's cool, like worth seeing. I'll just record that for you. Here we are in St. Stephen's Green. Look at the clock. It's amazing building. That's one of the oldest shopping center in Dublin. So I just came inside now to show you like how it looks how's the roof made I always find it found it fascinating when I was like first coming here to show you so it just came on the very last level and that's where the tattoo shop used to be like years ago when I was 13, 13 years old I remember passing through here and I was so like fascinated by the you know like noises and smell that was coming from the shop so I wasn't even thinking of becoming a tattoo artist but yeah it was the art and the idea of it all that took my attention I remember and the mystery behind it like how it's 
it's not like the noise is coming from there. <laughs> The mic on it is yeah so this is phil linnet from the band tin lizzy if you're familiar that's the statue of him how you doing buddy nice to meet you <laughs> <I'm> is over <laughs> As you can see, again, you get filled in it, tasted freedom, and I really liked it. That's it, man. That Trinity College right behind us. Is that mic on? Is it even on? Yes, it is. So that's one of the best colleges, universities, and like known worldwide places. Has some like huge library there. I wasn't there, I was just on the campus a while ago. It's worth visiting if you want to like chill around that area. It's really cool to see. So now I'm going to the shop and finally I'm going to replace that mic. So I'm hoping to get that DJI mic too. Hope they're going to have it in store. Let's see. That's another Oscar in like 10 minutes. This is the Here we are, the front front of the shop, the cam camera stuff. Let's see if they have that DJI mic too. Yeah, they got them mics and some drones as well. But that's the one with receiver and transmitter. I just need one that can connect it with Bluetooth and don't need that transmitter. So unfortunately they didn't have a single mic in stock, they just had like a combo thing with a receiver, but that's a good shot actually if you need a, some like tech equipment in Dublin, that's the cons camera close to Grafton Street if you need anything. So yeah, for now we're just using that mic, that's like 16 pounds from Amazon. So yeah, gonna see if I can find any other shot that might have it. So? This is the Central Bank of Ireland, based in Temple Bar.
Now we just came to the temple bar. You see some road works. Uh, we're changing the cubes. Let's go. Cool. So that's the place you want to be. If you're visiting Dublin, that's the place to be. And live music. Pops, really cool vibe to inside, especially on weekends. There's always buskers on that corner there. I don't see any now. Like the weather isn't great today, so. So that's the main square right here. Yeah, usually there is like a lot of like restaurants out, sitting like the gardens. Empty. I'm sure that's the weather. Fault. Yeah, I really love that street over there. See that? Yeah, so that's the kind of vintage shop. This one used for jumping, and that's it. Just moving. Yeah, still got it. Woo! Oh, yeah, you got like superpowers. Man. That's the fun game. Go back to our childhood. So cool. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. If you want to play some Mario, that shop there, Temple Bar. So, yeah, I remember a few years back on Paddy's Day, St. Patrick's Day, there is people packed like next to each other like that everybody's having fun drinking there's guards around them and everybody's taking pictures with the police and they don't do anything to you everybody's celebrating that day so it's really cool so i do recommend if you're ever in dublin and yeah to make your way to dublin on the 17th of march for saint patrick's day basically so you won't see space and stuff back. And that's the famous temple bar pub. So that's where the place gained its name from, I guess. Temple bar. One of the oldest, I suppose. Okay, so let me walk you through a very tiny street in Temple Bar. That's the kind of vibe you get walking through this street. So if you approach it from outside, that's the kind of entrance to Temple Bar. And in front of here, you get Half Penny Bridge built in 1816 which crosses over the river Liffey and that's where we find ourselves in the main town of Dublin Ooh. yeah so let's cross the bridge That's the Hapenny Bridge. Used to be used to be a thing 
back in the day that you had to pay like 50 pence or something to cross it, like it wasn't free. So that's why it gained their name from. It's a Heineken building over there. A few more bridges across town. And there's a few more bridges across other direction. So I really love this place. See the little pavement kind of over the water. I know what's called. So you can come here, there's a bench, and have your coffee on a nice sunny day. Not today though. <laughs> but yeah, you can always have some lunch kind of break over here. I love this place. Where else you can take some girl on a day. Very nice place too. You see the green fr flag over there? It took my attention. Like, what is that? Like, I do get it. You, you got the harp on it, yeah? But like, green one like that? What's the meaning behind it? I don't know. If you know it, just drop a comment. Oh, there's some trip you can get down as well. City Hello. sighting in Dublin. Now we're going towards the spire, and that's where you can get your paddy's hat from. That stand right there. I got mine once, have it, still have it. It's another bound that's like a full bound on the street right now. The equipment they got it's crazy and full kit drum kit there There is a hostel right there in the main town by the river, Liffey, if you need one. And there is a secure luggage stor storage inside as well if you need it. So that's really handy if you want to leave your stuff and go exploring the city. You don't have to carry the big baggage with you. And there's some like trips just next to it, many pops, everything you need. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? We just came to drive from the hotel by the river we showed you before. So 76 euro for the hostel, which is ridiculous. It's so expensive, man. Come on. What the hell is that? Seriously. That's like 80 euro for a night in hostel with people. That's like the normal price of a hotel somewhere else. Like usually you probably pay like 20 quid, 20 euro for a hostel somewhere else in Europe. That's crazy. Also check the price of these hop on, hop off buses for you so it's like 32 euro for a person for a day but i do recommend it you can see town 
really nicely you can picture it kind of the layout of it all I always do that anywhere I go so I can kind of have an idea of how the city is situated and all the like places to visit yeah so we're heading back to the car now so that was a few hours in town of Dublin and then probably see you next time in Sligo.